Hi guys, welcome uh, to Silver Lake Honey Channel. Today we are talking about the most important uh, tool in our arsenal as beekeepers. Uh, we're talking about bee smokers. Uh, there are three main components of a bee smoker. The billow, uh, fire chamber, and a nozzle. Uh, we puff the smoke, um, we use billow through this little hole and then uh, the smoke comes out the nozzle and it calms the bees and uh, it masks uh, their attack pheromone and it allows us to work our beehives. Also, uh, when uh, we use smoke, uh, bees tend to gorge on honey and uh, makes makes them, because uh, they think there's a fire in the forest and um, they, they, they take honey, uh, so so they, they, they leave and find a, a new home. They think there's a fire going on. Uh, there are many types of uh, fuel that we use uh, in our smokers. Uh, most uh, 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 beekeepers use uh, pine needles. I like them very much. They smell really nice. Uh, they, uh, we use uh, wood shavings, uh, egg cartons, cardboard, uh, cow manure. Uh, there's also uh, commercially available uh, smoker fuels, but uh, they can easily be uh, found and collected. I, I collect a lot of pine needles and wood shavings. Those are my favorites. And <clears throat> my most uh, favorite uh, bee uh, smoker fuel that I use, uh, that I add to my pine needles and wood shavings is uh, Amadou uh, Tinder Mushroom. I found those mushrooms calmed the bees down and uh, allowed me to work my bees. Uh, they can be easily found on barks of trees and uh, when they dry you can just you know uh, break them apart and put a little bit in your smoker and uh, it seems like the bees really calm down these mushrooms. They've been used in Europe for you know a lot of years and uh, I found out uh, about them, uh, my grandfather was a beekeeper and he used these. So the way I, I light uh, the smoker is I use uh, uh, pine needles on the bottom of the smoker. So I put the pine needles and then I uh, use wood shavings. So wood shavings and then I add a piece of the uh, Amadou Tinder, Tinder Mushroom and on top I also put uh, fine, uh, fine needles on top so that way the wood shavings in the middle they, when you uh, puff the smoker they, they won't go out. <clears throat> the, uh, most beekeepers when they light the smoker they light it from the top I use uh, this hole right here and uh, I, I use a um, torch and it's a lot easier for me uh, I just put the torch here uh, in this hole and light it it's a lot easier there's no wind, you know, to get in the way, and you know it lights and it and it, it can go for I don't know for hours like this. When when you add um, extra fuel, you know, you keep adding. So when it lights from the bottom and then it goes up. As you can see, the, the smoke is cool. It's not, you know, uh, you don't want uh, the fuel, you know, to be um, hot, so you can burn the wings of the bees, and don't go clo too close, and don't use too much smoke. Too much smoke is not good, you know, for the bees. It aggravates them actually. It's like a con uh, the opposite effect. As you can see, this combination provides a lot of smoke, and it can last. A long time so on the bottom the pine needles ignite first and then they ignite the wood shavings and then when it gets to the mushroom you know it slows a little bit down so when you work in your hives you want to puff 
uh, also some smoke on the entrance of the colony so it kind of tells the bees you know uh, there's no danger you know it masks the, the guard bees uh, attack pheromone and when you're go, going from, from high to high if, if you want to take a break or something I put a, a plug I made a plug out of the wine cork and I just uh, plug the you know the top of the smoker like this and you know it can when you want to use it again uh, you know just take it off and use it and some of the things to uh, be careful about smokers um, this is the, the large smoker uh, for people that have you know multiple hives probably um, like the uh, beekeepers with the uh, few hives they have small uh, smoker you have to be uh, uh, by the smoker that's got that has this uh, wire guard around it this prevents from this hot surface uh, to touch any of your other equipment uh, like your bee suit or or to prevent uh, dangers also uh, be careful when you are uh, transporting uh, from one like to your from your bee yard if you have smoker lit uh, make sure you you know you cover it and put it in you know into a, like a metal bucket or something so so this hot surface doesn't touch you know and ignite the fire you know or cause some more damage so that's a little bit about the bee, bee smoker uh, I would like to thank every one of you for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel for our future videos and we're gonna make videos as we continue our beekeeping journey. Thank you so much. Happy